This is a shit where this dog was living. Okay, she's gonna be treated like a princess from now on. Hi, those of us that rescue animals do it for one reason and one reason only, to alleviate pain from the helpless. And to do that, sometimes we have to go into situations that are a risk to ourselves. The whole thing is we have to balance risk versus reward. And the reward here is to be able to give a dog a happy life for the rest of his life. What you're about to see is one of such rescues. And then my encounter with the same dog 10 years later. Enjoy. Shit, what this dog was like. Okay. This is the shit. We've rescued this doggy. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. You, would you believe that the guy left a note saying, this dog is mine, no one is allowed to feed him because I do it whenever I want. I'll show you the note he left. Anyway, fantastic. Guys, great. Look at her. Here she is, Freedom. He's so happy, so happy. Oh my God, she has no idea what's gonna happen to her. Her life is gonna change completely. She's gonna be treated like a princess from now on. Who knows how long she's been there, but everything is gonna be very, very, very different from now. Huh? Princess. Oh my God, she's in a horrible state. Uh, I can see the skin problems from here, who knows. So we'll do a full analytic, we'll, we'll check her for infectious diseases and uh, we will treat her completely. She's gonna be fine. Look, the place where Freedom was locked, there was this note and it says this place has an owner and so does the dog. Don't give the dog any food. I come every day and she eats her own kibble. This was a lie. The guy never went there. You've seen the conditions in where the dog was living. And uh, we just rescued the dog. So this guy is gonna be very upset when he finds out he can fuck himself. We, we rescued her against the owner's will a few weeks ago. Look at her now. <laughs> we changed the name for uh, pronunciation purposes. We call her Mocha here. Okay, and guys, she's, uh, <laughs> she's great with every dog. She's great with cats. She's actually sleeping with a cat every night. We should rescue more dogs like this one. Rescued against the owner's will. I love it. I love, Rachel, how you, how you phrase that. Okay, so guys, please find a home for this doggy. She's fantastic. She really is great. Moca, mira, después de tantos años. ¿Cuántos años hace ya? Diez, o ocho, nueve, pues fácil. Y aquí está, mira, está guapísima. Madre mía. Moca, ahí estabas ahí. Madre mía, fastidiada. Cuando la he visto he dicho, esta es mi Moca. Ay, muy bien. 
es súper buena. ¿eh? Lo primero que vi de ella fue su nariz intentando respirar por aquel agujero de madera que había. Yo no sabía ni siquiera qué tipo de perro había dentro. Escogí, cizalla, empujón, perro fuera. Enseguida se adaptó muy bien. Andrea. Pues debe tener ya, pues eso, 11 años o 12. Está mayor, sí, pero está bien. Sí, a mí cuando ya la verdad está mayor, me dice, vaya. Y vamos, es una tragada más aquí. Mira mi chica preciosa. Cualquiera diría que estás mal del estómago, ¿eh? ¿Qué pasa? Cualquiera diría, en verano siempre le pasa, siempre tiene sí. episodios de con todo el calor y todo. Pero vamos, bien. Sí, claro. Estoy más contento. Hombre, si es que, mírala. De los primeros rescates que hicimos aquí en España, además, sí. acaba de llegar. It was wonderful to see Freedom, now Mocha, after all this time. The day I rescued her, she was nothing but a young, energetic, afraid puppy that had been made prisoner by a hunter and kept in a horrible condition and being forced to hunt while at the same time living in filth. Now, 10 years later, She's had a wonderful life, she has a wonderful family, and she's growing older together with her family, surrounded by love. That is so beautiful and is a dream of any rescuer to see our animals years later doing great and having had a wonderful life behind them. It's beautiful. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your support. And don't forget that everything I do It's only possible if I have your help. Please, if you can, if you like that video, if you enjoy what, what I do, if you connect with my work, please join me on my Patreon support group. I really need you there. Take care, I'll see you tomorrow.